Hello and welcome back to another Tazpia video. Today, or Tazpia toy chest video actually. Today I'm going to be going over the uh, Star Lord Element Blaster and the Star Lord Helmet, which actually has some neat features in it. All right. First things first. Mm, gotta make sure I can actually fit my he big head in there. Um, actually, before we put it on, before I put it on, let's just kind of go over. Let's see. It's got three eye settings. One. angle um, just to kind of show more of zoom um, so you've got this piece and then a jaw piece so push that all the way up take the hat piece or the, the back piece and put it back behind my head and then clip that clip that and then The only downside to this helmet is everything is red colored. Even without, like, eyes off, eyes on. Which I could not tell if you guys can dim off or off. Hard to see into that. Um, and then, right about there. Should be. This thing's got a Bluetooth uh, headphone speaker in it. And it's actually really neat. And the fact that the helmet fits really nicely, too. Just to readjust this. Clip it. Fits really nicely. Um, it's real snug on here. Like all my helmets are real snug right in the eyes. But I've got a big head, so it could be the fact that I have a big head. Um, I hope this, the lights are still coming on, so the Bluetooth is, there it is. Okay. Uncopyrighted music in it. I know it does. My phone is on max volume. That was my uh, intro video. Uh, I guess I could play a quick. Uh, song from my name is Scott Harris 14 oh, yeah, years yeah, ago yeah, yeah, I left yeah. my life as okay can't play that okay so skip that just play that's how loud it can get it gets pretty loud it's a pretty good speaker um it's a really good speaker I really want to or what I did for Halloween was uh actually put on uh I, I got my red flash jacket and taped over the flash symbol and it was all red and uh, put this on. I was Star-Lord for Halloween this year uh, and that's where I got the blaster was uh, Big Lots was having a sale. All their toys were like half off so this was like, or were, their toys were a lot off during Halloween um, and so this was like two or three dollars. Um, but. turn it sideways to initiate the switch it makes a good prop plus it's all plastic so it's uh it makes a really good prop because it's all plastic therefore if i go to a con with this sucker in it i don't have to worry about getting in trouble except for maybe the noise <laughs> um but that makes a good prop and then you know having this i kind of want to just 
go to a con and play da da na 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 hooked on a feeling and then uh, have a guy cosplaying uh, War Machine look at me and go so he's an idiot I just I, I like that scene in the movie okay um, so out of all the helmets that I have the White Ranger the Snake Eyes the Darth Vader the Cobra Commander and this um, I want to say this one was a hundred dollars the Darth Vader was a I paid a hundred and twenty it's I think like a hundred and fifty um, Cobra Commander and Snake Eyes were one ninety nine a piece and the White Ranger was eighty dollars so uh, but this one is definitely a 10 um, because even except for except for the glasses bit which I can always get contacts um, it fits my face the adjustable straps or the way it opens is great the adjustable straps are a good way to adjust and fit and stuff um, not to mention the Bluetooth the Bluetooth speaker just makes it so much better or it makes it really good too I've actually worn this into a Walmart had the speaker kind of on a half volume low volume and was playing the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack walking into Walmart and I actually had a guy <laughs> look at me while I was wearing this and said that's a great mask um, disconnected uh, but because it doesn't have any vents here actually they're real small um, and they're only up here, but if even if you put a mask underneath and wear it, you'll be able to, um, you will be able to, you know, use this as an actual mask. Same with Cobra Commander, same with G.I. Joe, Darth Vader, um, basically any of these could be used as actual masks, um, cur currently during the pandemic, uh, while we're still needing to wear masks. However, will you get weird odds? Or get odd looks? Probably. Will it look awesome? Depends on who you are. Um, would I want to go out in it just in it? No. But would I want to go out in full cosplay? Yes. Uh, but as far as ranking this, this is probably tied with Darth Vader as number one helmet in terms of quality. Qu uh, quality um the things that are built in it you know what it can do Darth Vader it only breathes and it makes a disconnect reconnect sound when you connect the base to the big head this does the Bluetooth speaker it, the the light up eyes um plus the Bluetooth speaker, plus the way you can put it on, and it fits, even my big head. Definitely a 10, uh, right around, like I said, this and Darth Vader are tied for first. And then underneath is Snake Eyes. Just below that is um, the White Ranger helmet. And then below that is Casey Jones. And at the very bottom, is Cobra Commander. I still don't like Cobra Commander. The price was... Okay, for Snake Eyes, the price definitely was not worth um, what it was, but it's better quality than Cobra Commander. Cobra Commander's price, it should have been like $60, not $119. You basically are only paying for the fact that it's Cobra freaking Commander. So and I could, and if I ever get a 3D printer, I could probably 3D print a better Cobra Commander mask. <sighs> probably not necessarily, you know. Um, but that ba that actually completes my current helmet collection. Uh, will I ever be getting helmets again in the future? Yeah, more than likely. I will more than likely be getting more helmets in the future. Um, what helmets? I don't know. I know I want to get a Mando helmet, whether it be 3D printed or um, the sound effects version, um, and maybe a Boba Fett, Jango Fett helmet too, but as of right now, I cannot get either, so 
Uh, speaking, actually, and that leads into my next, into my thing. Um, if you guys want to help me, or help provide for different, uh, f for different products for me to review in the Tazpia's Toy Chest, simply, uh, head over to my Patreon, link will be down below, um, and at patreon.com forward slash TazPA, um, and sign up for a tier. Um, I currently don't have a, uh, a 3D printer, which is what the, uh, bottom two tiers that I don't think anybody's gonna sign up for, at least not right away. Um, those ones... You know, I don't have the 3D printer, and will I be getting one? Possibly. Do I have one yet? No. Um, but will I be getting a 3D printer eventually? Yes, eventually. I don't know when eventually will be. Probably after a while. Um, but if you guys want to help provide, you know, provide fu extra funds for stuff like this, Patreon link will be down below. Uh, but all right, guys, I will see you all in the next Tazpia Toy Chest. Uh, oh, also forgot Discord will also be in, in the description down below. We actually got our, actually got two new uh, fans recently. Gonna go by their Discord or names. We've got uh, Lemons and uh, I'm just gonna do the second part of that. Woodler. Uh, thank you both for joining my channel, or for joining my Discord channel, uh, or server, and, uh, if you all want to join the Discord server, it's, you know, just links will be down below with the Patreon, um, and so until next, there could be treasure hiding at the bottom of the toy chest. Good night, all.